Hello friends, this video on Cryptology Part 6 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Before watching this video, please make sure that you have watched Part 1 to Part 5. Take uh, some easy examples, totally based on the properties of conditional property. So we have been told that their E and F are two events as that probability of E is 0.x, probability of F is 0.3, probability of E intersection F is 0.2, fine, probability of E given F and probability of F given E. Both will come different, may come different, may not come different. So let's find probability of E given F is nothing but we know that probability of E intersection F by probability of F. Probability of E intersection F is 0.2. Probability of S is 0.3. So this is nothing but probability. And that is my first. Let's find this guy probability of F given E. That is nothing but probability of again E intersection F by probability of E this time. Correct? See, E this time. Here it is F, this F. So this becomes E intersection F is 0.2 and probability of E is 0 0.6. So this becomes 2 by 6, that is 0 0.2. And that is 0 So you see both are different. Okay, let's take a more simple example. We have to find probability of a given B, if probability of B is given and probability of A intersection B is given. Same thing, we'll just apply the formula. Probability of A given B is nothing but probability of A intersection B by probability of B. That is nothing but 0.32. This guy by probability of B is 0.5. And that is nothing but 16 by 25. And that is nothing. Very simple. We can take some more examples like this. The probability of A is given, probability of B is given, and probability of B given A is given. We have to find all these values. How to find this? We know that with this formula, we can we get this action, right? We know that probability of B given A is nothing but probability of B intersection A by probability of A. I know this. I know this. I can find this. So because I can write that this guy that is 0.4 is equal to probability of B intersection A or A intersection B both are same by probability of A that is 0.8 or I get probability of A intersection B is 0.4 into 0.8 that is 0.32. This guy is the now probability of A given B is nothing but probability of A intersection B by probability of B correct A intersection B we just found 0.32. Probability of B, 0.5, right? And there is nothing but 0.64. This is also one. Correct. I have to find now probability of A union B. This guy I know is nothing but probability of A plus probability of B minus probability of A intersection B. I know all this value. Probability of A is 0.8. Probability of B is 0.5. Probability of A intersection B is 0.32. Right, if you solve this, you get 0.98 and that is your answer. Very simple. Just you know the formula, apply the formula, get the answer. No need to apply it. Right? So, in such cases, we typically use this formulas. Again, let's take one more example. We are told that uh, we define probability of A union B. We are told that probability twice of probability of A is probability of B is equal to 5 by 13. That means we are told that probability of A is 5 by 13 by 2, that is 5 by 26, and probability of B is 5 by 13, we are told. And we are also told that probability of A given B is 2 by 10. So with this, I can find, I have to find A union B. I know that A union B is nothing but A plus B minus A intersection B. So with this I can find A intersection B and then we can use this formula. So let's see that. Probability of A given B is nothing but probability of A intersection B by probability of B. Or this guy is 2 by 5 is equal to probability of A intersection B by probability of B that is 5 by 12. So with this if you solve you get probability of A intersection B is nothing but 2 by 
It's 5 by 13, sorry. 5 by 13, so you get 2 by 13. Now, I have to find probability of A union B. This is something by probability of A plus probability of B minus probability of A intersection B. These formulas we have learned in the class classes. Probability of A was 5 by 26. Probability of B was 5 by 13. And probability of A intersection B is 2 by 13. Right? So if you solve this, you get 11 by 26. And that is it. Let's take some better examples now. You need to determine probability of E given F. So this coin is tossed thrice. Right? This coin is tossed thrice. Where E is head on third toss and F is head on first two toss. So we can try using the graphical way first. This is my condition. Please note this is my condition. So generally I write throw and I write my condition F and here I write F dash. That means heads on first two toss and he not heads on first two toss. Maybe head on first toss, tail on second toss tail on first toss, head on second toss, or both tails on first toss, so any of this. So when I throw this coin thrice, right, my head on first to toss will be what? My first to toss will look like this. It can be either headed, head tail, tail head, and tail tail. So I am looking for this condition. So this is my 1 by 4 probability getting this guy right where I get HH and this guy will be 3 by 4 obviously because I'll get HT TH correct this is I I threw uh, coins one by one this is my first threw this is my second I got these values so on the first because the condition was head and first to toss so I took this as the condition and bifurcated. So given this is the condition, E is head on third toss. So with this, with this, if you see, if my HH is this guy, I can either get HHH or HHT. See, if my first two is head head, the second can be head or tail. So this, either two option, and I am looking for head on third toss, this guy. So that means probability of getting this guy head on third toss given the uh, on first toss first two toss you get head is nothing but one by two because here if this is my benchmark this is my benchmark i have only two options now right equally probable so this guy is one by two and that is my answer so just by graph i can see that one by two is the condition probability of getting head on third toss given on first to toss you get head. Now let's solve the same equation using the formula. Correct. So using formula if you see my sample space will be like this you can get either head or you can get tail then you can get both head right or you can get uh, I write H H uh, head tail or you get head tail head or you get H T T right or you start with tail you, you get T H H or T H T or you get T T H or you get T T T this is what you get sample space part I'll show you how you get either head or tail and then you get head or tail here also you get head or tail here also you get third head tail head tail head tail and here also head tail so if you add all this hhs is one option hst is one option sth is one sth is one ths is one 
THT is 1, right? TTH is 1 and TT is 1. So 8 possible options. Head on third toss. E is, let me find E. Head on third toss. This guy, this guy, this guy. Correct. So my E is HHH, HTH, this guy, THH, and TH. And my F is heads on first two toss. This guy, this guy. Only two possible options, right? H H H and H H. Now, we use the formula. Probability of getting E given F is nothing but probability of E intersection F by probability of F. So what is the intersection between E and F? H, H, S, yes, there. H, H, T, no. Only one value, that is probability of getting H, H, H by probability of F is, I know nothing but 2 by 8, 2 by 8. And probability of getting H, H, H is 1 by 8. So it is 1 by 8 by 2 by 8 and that is 1 by 2. So if you see here also you get same answer. Correct? Thank you. Visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos, try free online tests, get the best quality study materials, study from the best tutors and mentors and much more. Thanks once again.